understand people of God God have a way of testing you with his favor now this woman she just started to serve God and while she there serving God because she used to her this and her that and she don't have the full understanding of who God really is she make a request to God and that is what I'm trying to say many of us make requests but we don't stand to our word we make vow to God God if you do this I will do that and this woman said to God God I need car I need this I need that I, w I want to have money so that I don't have to suffer name it name it name it God let everything come in for her she said everything she said everything she asked him for come but from the moment she started to lean to the look to the other side like Peter when he was walking on the water she said she noticed everything started to go money start to go down things start happen to the car for her to lose it she start to lose this she start to, she just start to lose things i want to hear what i'm saying yeah. because right there god put her through a test and they put god put her through the test she did not pass it because she thought God was a mediocre God where she can prostitute him. Come on, people. You have many people will talk and say, Oh, God is so good to me. There is nothing that I ask God he don't do. And some of them is true. It's left to what they ask God. Some of them is talking the truth. But the thing about God Almighty is that what many people don't understand he is so rich in everything but one thing about him everything that he's rich in we are us and earth here need as our daily living he don't have it in heaven the only thing he have in heaven is a thing called release he only have the release people of God in heaven he have the release in heaven the answer is right here with us and hurt I want to hear what I'm saying Amen. the release is in heaven but the answer is on earth what am I talking about it is for a person to say yes when God provoked their spirit come on talk to me It is for somebody to say yes when God provoke their spirit. For instance, you can be my God Almighty at your house. Just like old time days, many people, they used to put on their pot. One of you all, some of you might know about this. And you will see your mother sit down and sewing and humming and washing and the pot and the fire turn very down or whether it is wood fire or whether it is cold fire listen to this and she will be there and she's there singing and washing and in the meantime she's saying god where am I going to get food from? My children, them coming home and I don't have anything to cook. But she put on the pot. Want to hear what I'm saying? She put on that pot. Yeah. And by putting on that pot, she hear a knocking on the door and she hear somebody coming. Miss Mary, all the dog, all the dog, I'm coming in. When she look, his mass Tom. Mr. Tom coming in with a bag on his head. I'm coming from the bush. But I, you know, it, you just come in my spirit. That I must, you know, bring some things and give to you. And when he put down that bag, three quarter things that is in that bag is for Miss Mary. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. 
All Miss Mary did was said, God, the children, them coming home and I need something to cook for them. Help me, God. Provide God. You see, these are what you call favor. Come on, people. Favor look for you. You don't go out looking for favor. You want me to tell you something as I'm here? When I listen to the story with the young mates that married to the prince in England, I get to understand that she went to the, the palace and was taking pictures, not really in the palace, but as close as where she could go. She went there taking pictures. And her friend, she have a friend that knows her. And the prince happened to see the friend and asked her, ask him, where is that girl that I saw you with? Wanna hear what I'm saying, people? She wasn't thinking that she could be back to even enter in the palace without being a royal. But somebody, the prince happened to contact somebody. And the contact, the prince contacted somebody. It was about her. The interest was on her. I want to hear what I'm saying. If us as children of God can get ourselves together in the right place where God wants us to be. I rise up to tell you people of God. And let me say this to you. If you look at it, she probably not even know the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to hear what I'm saying. She probably don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, but when you look at it, there can be some different ways and means about her. And God will use her story to have us as children of God to look into things and say, if it happened to her, what about us as children of God? Don't you think God can do greater and bigger than that for us? Amen. I want to understand people. What I'm trying to say, my God Almighty, some of you, my God Almighty, even need husband and wives. Some of you need husband and wife, my God Almighty. And some of you are there fussing and carrying on and murmuring and complaining and... I'm not married and I need a husband and I need... Let me tell you all something. I used to think about those things one of the time. And saying, God, whatever, and whatever. Listen to me, it's been years. I don't even put those things on my mind. I want to be all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you need to understand. When the favor of God do for you, no one can black or stop it, people. No witchcraft, no hobby can black or stop it. In the name of Jesus. I want you to hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. This is what I want. Listen to me. The young miss that married to the prince. Did you know that there must be one of her friends is saying why that couldn't be me? Yes. Why that couldn't be me? I'm prettier than her. I have more qualification than her. I have, some people are like that. As a child of God, they don't speak like that. That's true. What we are to say, whatever belong to us, can't be for and un, un, can't be for and uh, can't be for somebody else. It have to be for us. Yeah. yeah. Can't be for somebody else. But I rise up to say, people of God, it is for us as children of God to get ourselves in line. Because if that young miss did not have qualification, the prince wouldn't want her. He would not want her. Come on, talk to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of quality in her. That's why she's able to get the prince. Because I sure know that prince has been, uh, um, has been groomed in the right way. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. Us as children of God, we need to be groomed.
come in the right way with the Holy Spirit of God. Yes, yes, yes. by getting into a place of being obedient to the spirit of God yes. look into ourself my God almighty many of us want favor to flow but what about my God almighty the lying tongue that we are carrying yes. come on people some of us are so lie. We are so lie that lie becomes truth. Jesus Christ have mercy. We cannot say no when it is no. We cannot say yes when it is yes. Come on, people. Many of us are like that. Let us look into ourselves, my God Almighty, and see the way we are going about doing things. Lying, lying. If we are liars, we cannot have the favor of God because we will let God look as if He's a mediocre God. Right. He will look as if he's a mediocre God, as if he's any God that just do polish up, 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 up sin, polish up wickedness. Come on, people. Yes. And all we need to do, my God Almighty, is to have his fear. Favor follow you when you fear God. Come on, talk to me. I'm not talking about no sympathy, fear, um, favor. I'm talking about real favor. Wherever you go, my God Almighty, things happen for you. You'll be surprised to know. Let me say this. Let me say this. You have some people. I want to help somebody. You have some people. Things will happen for them. Listen to this. Things will happen for them and you, my God Almighty, might be a child of God and saying, how comes things happen for them and it don't happen for you? And you might look into yourself to say, you know what? I believe things should be happening for me more than that person. But you know what you need to understand? You need to look into the things that we need to understand and look into. Two way people can do things and things flow for them. One, a person can have the spirit of humbleness upon their life. Humbleness, being humble. Yes. Number two, number one, when, um, when that person is a humble person, even if they are not serving God the way they are to. Not doing the right thing. Name it and whatever. you. When I said not serving God the way they are to. They might not have a prior life. They might not my God Almighty praise God the way you praise him. They might not my God Almighty seek God the way you seek him. They might not do a lot of things that you do, speak in tongues, name it or what of you. But if you check and look and see, that person can have a humbler spirit than your spirit. Come on, talk to me. I said that person can have a more humbler spirit. Because what you need to understand, many times, my God Almighty, it is the spirit of pride that is blocking things from happening. It's true. Spirit of pride. You see what we don't get and understand. Favor my God Almighty. The favor of God. Move with these things. Some people my God Almighty. Hallelujah. It is not just the favor of God they have. So sometimes they, they're able to have favor with man. Come on talk to me. Yes. It's, listen to me. I get to understand this. I come to realize this. In the midst of myself here. Now I'm going to say something very prophetic to each and every one. Listen to this. Just imagine my God Almighty. Many of you come on this empowerment line. 
and some of, and, and, and some of you hear my story over and over speak daily and I might not tell everyone the main thing that I'm going through right at this moment what causes me not to do it because God don't release it and I'm doing everything to please him wonder if you all get what I'm saying now all I say the reason why I say what I said is because I want you all to understand that in spite of all the hell I'm going through, he made me strong to help you. Now, look into this. If I'm to be my God Almighty, the type of person that God call in such a time like this, and I'm praying for you all out there, but at the same time, my prayer have some spot and some wrinkle and some this and some that that don't belong in it. God will not be able to move up on it because the thing that you all need to get and understand, it is a big test for those that God put in the midst for others. One of you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This big test, people of God, it happened that I, whoever else, must pass each test God put in the midst. And the pass you're passing the test, you're not, you're getting, you're not, listen to me, you're not getting many things like others would say, oh, I passed my test and I got my certificate. And now I can go to this college or I can be I can become a nurse or I can become this that 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 this test that God is putting somebody like myself to pass it is a test for the realm of the spirit I want to hear what I'm saying yeah. and in the midst of of myself here are others that might be my God Almighty swimming in the same river like myself I rise up to say people of God even though material stuff must, ne must be needed in the midst of my life for me to say okay I'm comfortable I'm alright with this many times you see what some of us don't get and understand many times the journey that we are trodden on it takes my God Almighty some test for God to do it with us just like Job look at Job people of God jo God want to show us that he is God and in spite of what wicked old Satan go to God oh if you do this to Job watch and, watch and see if he don't curse you and what, name it and what of you his wife my God Almighty come in the midst tell him curse God and dead Job called her the foolish woman that was the end of her you didn't hear anything else about her because what you all don't understand the Bible might not speak, or her, speak about her but what happened with Job right, wife right there when she look and see his condition it wasn't Job who, le who left her. It wasn't God who killed her. It was she who walked out of the relationship because she's about material stuff. I want to hear what I'm saying. She walked out of the relationship because she's about material this, that, and the other. Now, people of God, what I'm trying to say, we are talking about favor. And what I'm trying to say, my God Almighty, what I'm trying to say, my God Almighty, in the midst of myself here, my God, you think, people of God, God would be pleased if I'm praying for my God Almighty, Sister Gay, and things is up and for things is going on well for Sister Gay. Why, my God Almighty, I should be act up and off up and say, God, why are you doing it for Sister Gay and you're not doing it for me? You see what you all don't get and understand? Right there, I will be contaminating the prayer that I already gone up to God. 
I want to be all get what I'm saying. I must get myself in a place to be happy to see whatever I prayed for come forth for her. Now, the answer that released for her will build up in the realm of prosperity and whatever need God have in the midst for me. It will build up people of God and one day when I least expect it will shower down like rain. Rain! Hallelujah. Hey. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. It's not that the favor of God is not flowing. Favor is upon my life, people of God. The favor starts with the spiritual first and many don't get it. Amen. Favor starts with the spiritual before it starts with the physical. Amen. Amen. You hear what it is called favor with God. If I don't have favor, how could I, my God Almighty, pray and things happen? Come on, talk to me. That's right. That's true. You see, many people looking at favor as material stuff. We need to get faith, get in the midst and understand that favor come people of God with the spiritual things first. That's why it is called favor from God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. One of you all understand me. When I used to be shoppy shoppy. Like to go out and you know, I just got this little place here and because this was the first place that I got for all these years and my life from I was about 22. Bouncing from back home in Jamaica. Coming America as um, catching here, catching there. Being in this place for two weeks. As I tell you all people of God, for, for uh, it took me, my God Almighty, to move. 56 time from 2010 uh, from two from 96 in america until 2010 56 time i move one of you all hear what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. and for me to for that my god almighty to happen to my my life i would look at it and said okay, i would look at it i would look at it and said 30 out of the 56 time, I would look at it to say 20 something times I move when I was out in the world. Come to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I started to move the rest of 20 odd times, almost 30, almost 30 times. I started to move here, move there, going up and down. When I get to Georgia, the fire turn up. That time I'm on fire for God. Come on, people. Fire for God. Leave New York City. Come to Georgia and fire for God. By the gr Thank God for His grace. My fire never out down yet. Fire never out down yet. Never out down yet, my God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. That don't say I don't make a little mistake here, there, and everywhere, but I know how to repent and go back to Him. Come on, talk to me. I don't not talking about backsliding now. Because God warned me. When He came into my life 2000 and and, tw and three he said to me let me say this to you the sin that was upon your life the, the sin I have taken away this sin and he gave me this revelation he said you see the way you left your country and go all the way to Japan I said yes Lord this is how he was speaking to me clear clear he said I have taken away your sin as far as Japan is from Jamaica that's how far I take it he said, don't even try to go back in it. Don't even try it. Because if you try it, he sent me into Deuteronomy 28. That carries 68 chapter. And it said, people of God, well, one part of it said from the 15 verse come, coming down. And it shall come to pass if you don't obey this commandment. All these things shall take over your life. I wonder if you all hear what I'm talking about. 
Am I speaking to anyone? And people of God, get this in your all spirit. It happened, my God Almighty, that when I read that word and look into it, I said, God, I will not look back. Uh oh, no way. By your grace, I will not look back. So, what happened? I get into a spirit of repentance. Every little thing I do, I say, even if something come in my thought, I repent about it. Because he tell me that we sin in our thought, minds are deed. Come on, talk to me. And I get myself into that part of repentance. Be in, listen to this, be in, in the midst with others. Now we are talking about ourselves, how we are to be, how we are to operate and get the spiritual fix up before we can run and want for man to do things for us. Talking about the favor of man. Because when God's favor is upon your life, the favor of man will flow more than you can ever imagine or think. And I am, I am seeing it flow on my life. It's just because I'm not running here, running there, doing this, doing that. I have so much fear for God right now, people of God, that I'm so afraid to do things out of His will. Afraid. I'm very scared. Because you know why? I'm carrying the burden of the world upon my life. And I don't want for this, my God Almighty, cargo to break down. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes, and this cargo can break down if I ever get out of the will of him. Get what I'm saying? Yes, now, yes. people of God, what am I talking? And you all need to get and understand what I'm saying. In the midst, my God Almighty, of me going through everything and praying for somebody if i my god almighty don't be happy for that somebody i sincerely pray there's no way god favor can stay in my life when you see what you all need to get and understand people of god the favor of god is is, is when you can say jesus and he just said here i am I want you all hear what I'm saying, people. Many people are running for the favor of man instead of the favor of God. I want you all hear what I'm saying. It's just like some people, they would hear about something and they want to go out on the road. And you have your nice clothes well put together. And you would prefer, my God Almighty, just to be in ace, to get to go on the road. You would prefer to put on that clothes and a dirty body. Get what I'm saying to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're out there, my God Almighty, into that nice clothes, you start to smell yourself. Come on, talk to me. Reality. Right. And you're like, I wonder if anyone smell me. My God, my arms start to get sweaty, you know. Vagina start to have a little smell, penis, bottom. Come on, people. Reality. Reality. Uh, and your dear, my God Almighty, even run to the bathroom and try to check yourself and see what you can do. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you forget that you should have taken a shower before you put on that clothes. Just set the set. Give me five minutes. You know you can't take a 60 minute shower? Yes. Yeah. All of you all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're a person yeah. that bathes every day, you can't take a 60 minute shower, you run into that shower and you get the rag and wash, wash possible. Come on, talk to me. Scrub possible. You hear what I'm saying? You mean 60 seconds, 60 minutes. 60, thank you, my, thank you, my daughter. 60 minutes. No, seconds. 60 seconds. Oh, Lord, Lord. Thank you, thank you, my daughter. 60 seconds. You can use 60 seconds and run in the bathroom and, and get a quick wash. 
put on, my God Almighty, dry yourself very fast. Get your clothes on on you. Then guess what? When you go out there, you don't have no worries trying to smell yourself. Come on, talk to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I give that, my God Almighty, rev revelation to say... That is how many of us are. We want to rush the favor of man and forget about the favor of God, how important it is first in our life. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. The favor of God comes first. And for yeah. us to get the favor of God, we have to do things to please Him. As I was speaking earlier, I said, people of God, there are times when many of us, 